Yeah, we're not talking about storms, heat or humidity, at least for a couple of days around here. But given this early jump into what's been a summer like weather pattern for us, you know it can't last that long, right? But let's soak up the sun and enjoy it while we can. A great night for baseball underneath the lights tonight as the Reds take on the Pirates. Temperatures are around 80 now. That's where they'll be for the first pitch. And by the time the game is over, temperatures will have fallen back into the low 70s. So with the lower humidity levels, a great night for baseball downtown. Here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower. Here's one way you know we've scoured out the humidity. Not a cloud in the sky on this sunny Wednesday afternoon. It's 80 right now officially at the airport. Look at the dew point. Look at the relative humidity, all courtesy of this northeasterly breeze that's been bringing in this more comfortable air. Now it's still warm and that's going to remain the case over the next couple of days. It's going to be warm during the day, but it will be very, very tolerable. Most areas around 80, the farther east you head, some of you in the mid 70s there, as cool as 75 in Hillsboro, 76 in Wilmington. But once you get close to the urban corridor, so to speak. Temperatures climb close to 80. Springboro, Mason, Hamilton at 81, pushing 80 at the moment in Florence. It's as warm as 85 in Wyoming, 84 in Kenwood, 83 over in Addison, and 78 in Harrison. So we've had that cold front came through yesterday evening, scoured out the humidity and the storms, hard pressed to find a cloud in the sky. Again, we've got very comfortable air that has settled in. Look at these dew points. We've carved out a nice bowl of very comfortable air with temperatures in the 50s. Those higher humidity levels have been pushed into southern Kentucky, south of Lexington. So you see they're not far away, but it's going to take a couple of days for it to return here before those rain chances arrive with it. In fact, because we've got the lower humidity levels, we don't have to worry about the threat for showers or storms Thursday or Friday. However, over the weekend, and you'll begin to notice it by Saturday, that humidity's back in the air, and that will bring the return of those pop-up showers and thunderstorms that will take us through the upcoming holiday weekend. It won't be a washout, but there will again be some wet interruptions, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. Futurecast is very quiet tonight. Beautiful tomorrow around here with lots of sunshine. As we get into Friday, expect partly cloudy skies. Friday will be warm, but I still think the humidity is low enough to where it's fairly tolerable. Now, the only downside to this forecast with high pressure in charge, the sunny skies, the calm weather conditions, the air may get a little stagnant, especially here in the Ohio Valley. So as a result, we do have an air quality alert for Southwest Ohio and our neighbors across the river in Northern Kentucky. That's again for the well, the sensitive group. So if you don't have any breathing ailments or breathing problems, you'll be fine. But you know, just remember fuel up the vehicle after eight, kind of not to idle the cars too much. Clear and pleasant weather tonight, 60 for your overnight low. Some areas will drop into the upper 50s. Tomorrow, sunny and almost perfect. How about 84 for that high? 77 around lunchtime, and then we'll kind of cruise our way into the low 80s underneath lots of sunshine for the afternoon and evening. Here's your seven day forecast. There's your near perfect weather the next two days, and then there's your chances for showers and storms. Even if we don't hit 90, Mike and Sheree, it will feel like it starting Saturday, heading forward through the holiday. Kevin, thank you for the update and the warning.